Hi kids, my name is Grace. Welcome to the Story Time Zone. Today we are going to read Little Cloud by Eric Carl. In today's book, we will be journeying into the world of learning. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little Cloud trailed behind. The clouds pushed upwards and away. Little Cloud pushed downwards and touched the tops of the houses and trees. The clouds moved out of sight. Little Cloud changed into a giant cloud. Little Cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and cloud sometimes look alike. Little Cloud changed into an aeroplane. Little Cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Little Cloud changed into two trees. Little Cloud, the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Then Little Cloud changed into a hat because the Little Cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called. Come back. Little cloud drifted towards the cloud. Then all the clouds changed into one big cloud and rained. Thank you for joining me on the story time zone. Come back to read more interesting books with me. And if you enjoyed this book, kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hi kids, my name is Grace. Welcome to the Story Time Zone. Today, we are going to read The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse. I am an artist and I paint a blue horse, a red crocodile, a polka dotted donkey. Here is a celebration of creativity and color that will inspire young artists everywhere. Written by Eric Carr. In today's book, we will be journeying into the world of learning. I am an artist. And I paint a blue horse and a red crocodile and a yellow cow and a pink rabbit and a green lion and an orange elephant and a purple fox and a black polar bear and a polka dotted donkey. I'm a good artist. Thank you for joining me on the Story Time Zone. Come back to read more interesting books with me. And if you enjoyed this story, kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hi kids, my name is Chris. Welcome to the Story Time Zone. Today, we are going to read The Very Lonely Firefly, written by Eric Carl. In today's book, we'll be journeying into the world of learning. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. 
it stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up in the night. Hear that noise? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. What's going on? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. Quiet out there. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was another, it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. What is it? Hey, stop fighting. The firefly saw several lights and flew towards them. But they were not other fireflies. They were, there was a dog and... A cat. Meow, meow, meow. And all their eyes reflecting the light. Ooh, 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 ooh. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlight flooding the night. Look! Wow, it's beautiful. The firefly saw many lights and flew towards them. But they were not other fireflies. They were fireworks, sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the very lonely firefly saw that it had been looking for. A group of fireflies flashing their light. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. A light of surprise for the youngest child from Eric Carl. Thank you for joining me on the story time zone. Come back to read more interesting books with me. And if you enjoyed this book, kindly remember to share, like, and subscribe.